People seem to think that life is really complicated. It's hard to know what to do to get fit. It's hard to know what to do to attract that kind of person you want to date or marry and then actually keep them. It's hard to know what to do to actually save money or earn more money or do work you care about. And look, even if you know what you want, it's hard enough just doing it when you've already known what you want. But what happens when you don't even know what you want in life? Now, in my mind, you really only have two choices in life. What's up guys, Alex Hein here, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've actually put together a little beginner guide, a free download to help you reinvent yourself. If you're trying to improve your life, you want to just set goals and actually become the kind of person you know you can become, I've included a free goal setting worksheet down in the description box there below. So make sure you go download that. You'll also be added to my weight loss crash course and my personal development course. Now there's someone whose research I've become really interested in lately. And her name is Dr. Carol Dweck, and she's a Stanford psychologist who's known as being the, quote, founder of this kind of growth or fixed mindset idea. And what she noticed was that in certain kids, they believed that intelligence, grit, the ability to succeed, all of these were traits that a person could improve. In other words, they could acquire these skills to become who they always wanted to be. Versus some students just believe that intelligence, you were just born with, or discipline, you were just a disciplined person or you weren't. Laziness, you're just a lazy person or an ambitious, motivated person. And what she found was that regardless of those traits, whatever you believe, you then become. And so people that are growth oriented or have this growth mindset believe that they can basically become anything. You know, there are restrictions, but if you believe you can become a fit, happy, healthy, wealthy, fulfilled person, then you will then begin to take those action steps to figure out how to become that kind of person. If you don't think that's possible, or if you think that it's just how you're born, well, like of course, you're gonna act like a helpless person because you think, well, they were just born that way. So to me, your two choices in life are very simple. You either choose to grow or you choose to stay the same. You know, in the beginning of me getting fit and wanting to become a different person physically because I hated who I was physically, I could have believed, these are just my genetics, it's just how I am, I've got these digestive problems, this is just my lot in life. I could have believed that and changed nothing about my life. But I chose to believe that I could improve myself in that domain of life. Same in my financial life. I never made more than $35,000 at a job, and yet I had the growth mindset to believe that I could become an entrepreneur and start my own business and company. Things that not only never interested me, but I always sucked at the financial parts of life. But I chose to have the growth mindset and believe I could acquire those skills because they were just habits and they were just skills. I chose to believe the same thing when it came to traveling the world, when some people believe that you're just born into wealthy families and you just get to travel the world because you were just born into all this abundance. And yet, even though that was definitely true for me in my childhood, I chose to believe that I could build the skills required to get a second job or to freelance or to acquire this money so that I could travel the world. And before I was 30, I'd been to 60 countries on earth. I could have believed the same thing with dating where I was McLovin, like the real life McLovin, got rejected by every girl I was ever into. We're not talking about like until I was 16, we're talking about until my early to mid 20s. I had to go through a lot of personal development to become the kind of person I am today. And you could apply this to anything in your life. But the end point is that it's like Einstein's question. Do you believe you're in a hostile universe or a friendly universe? And it's the most important question because it's going to predict all of your other actions. And so I chose to believe the most simple question, the most powerful question, the two choices you have every day is do you believe you can and are capable of growing and becoming who you want? Or do you believe it's fixed and you were just born with this lot in life and that's all you got? All right, guys, I hope you like my little Tony Robbins rant right there, but I really believe those are the two most fundamental choices you have in life. Now, again, quick reminder, I've got a beginner goal setting worksheet down in the description there below. It also has the first chapter of my book for free. So make sure you go click that in the link below. 
You'll also get my free seven day personal development and weight loss crash course. And otherwise, you can check out my last two videos right here and right here.